It's the early hours of the morning, and police are out in full force in Visegrad, a small town in the Bosnian Serb Republic. Behind them stands the local Muslim cemetery, where a man removes the word genocide from a memorial erected in commemoration of the many Bosnian Muslims killed during the Bosnian War. Such actions are just the latest chapter in the story of this deeply divided country. To je jednostavan i logičan odgovor. Izvršitelj zločina, izvršitelj genocida je politička opcija koja pripada i načelnik opštini. Ono što su četnici, pripadnici SDS-a 1992. godine učinili i počinili bošnjacima, danas zadaću ima ista vlast, dakle isti SDS, da to ili minimizira ili totalno prikrije. Znači, njima smeta riječ genocid. Ne mogu da se suoče sa istinom, sa činjenicama. Ubiti 486 žena imenom i prezmenom. Što se tiče spornog spomenika na stražištu, bolje reći sporne riječi genocid, Radi se o sljedećem. Nema nikakvih argumenta, prije svega pravnih, da se može upotrijebiti jedna takva riječ i ona izaziva destabilizaciju stanja u opštini Višegrad. Divided into two regions along ethnic lines, the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Bosnian Serb Republic, this nation has effectively been frozen in time from when the bitter war that plagued the country was brought to an end in 1995. But now the country is waking up, with demonstrations taking place across Bosnia against government corruption and presidential elections later this year, there's a danger that the Bosnian Serb Republic will try to separate from Bosnia and forever cover up the past atrocities committed. Ivy Times went to Visegrad and spoke to survivors, activists and politicians to find out why this dark stain in the country's history is being covered up and what the current unrest around Bosnia means for the country's future. If you cannot come to terms with your past, you cannot build a future. As the former Republic of Yugoslavia started to disintegrate in the early 90s, Bosnia became the major battleground in a violent and bitter multi-sided war. 100,000 people were killed during the conflict, in which Bosnian Serb forces carried out an ethnic cleansing campaign against Bosnian Muslims across large parts of the country. In 1992, whilst the capital Sarajevo was under siege, the eastern town of Visegrad, a strategically located crossing point on the river Drina between Bosnia and Serbia, was taken over by Serb forces and cleansed of its majority Bosnian Muslim population, a campaign of terror carried out by cousins Milan and Serdu Lucic. Sulo Fejic lives in the village of Barimo, not far from Visegrad, and witnessed firsthand the acts of genocide there. 26 Bosnian Muslims were killed, mostly women and children. Their youngest victim was only 12 years old. Dvanaest ljudi ubili i složili na gominu. Na samoj obale Drini je na ušu potoka u rijeku Drinu. Ovdje po selu je, kasnije kada smo ušli u selo, pronalaženi su ljudi koji su u vijegu ubijani, pronalaženi su ljudi koji su ubijani hicem u glavu, tu u ležećem stavu. Također su pronađene i dvije osobe, starije osobe, For the greater part of its course, the river Drina flows through narrow gorges between steep mountains or through deep ravines with precipitous banks. Here, where the Drina flows through the whole force of its green and foaming waters from the apparently closed mass of the dark steep mountains, stands a great clean-cut stone bridge with eleven wide sweeping arches. These words are from the first few lines of the bridge on the Drina, a novel by Nobel Prize winning writer Ivo Andrich 
that captures the construction of the Mehmed Pasa Sokolovich Bridge that was built in Visegrad in the 16th century. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, during the war the bridge was the grisly scene of horrific executions, as Muslim men, women and children were slaughtered by Bosnian paramilitaries and thrown into the river. Kira Hasecic is an activist and former resident of the town. She describes what she saw that day. Today the river is believed to be the largest mass grave in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And when in 2010 the water levels at the reservoir further upstream were lowered, the remains of many civilian victims from Visegrad were discovered. One of the worst atrocities committed by Milan Lukic occurred at the Adam Omeragic house on Pianeska Street. At least 59 Muslim women and elderly people were detained in the house, along with 17 children, and then burned alive. Odnosno neki od žena su silovane, seksualno zlostavljane, opljačkane su, oduzeto im je sve što se je moglo oduzeti. Neke koje su preživjele silovanje, seksualno zlostavljanje su ubijene. U ovoj ispod nas jednoj prostoriji u podrumu gdje je bilo preko 70, 48 samo žena i oko 20-oro djece, znači to je ta kuća nakon spaljivanja, devastacije, kakva je izgledala ovdje taj podrum. Systematic rape and the establishment of rape camps like Vilina Vlas was used by Bosnian Serb forces in Visegrad as part of their campaign of ethnic cleansing. Back in 1992, Bakira herself was raped by Milan Lukic and forced to watch as a group of ethnic Serbs that included her next-door neighbour raped her 18-year-old daughter. After the conflict, she founded the Association of Women Victims of War, an organisation dedicated to bringing perpetrators of war crimes to trial. In 2010, the owner of the Adam Omeragic house allegedly gave authority to Bakira's organisation to rebuild the house and turn it into a memorial. With the help of only three other people, Bakira rebuilt the house in two weeks. Jednostavno su dali sebi za pravo da ispokrišu, da oduzmu. Borba teče od 2010. godine, kada smo saznali uz pomoć čovjeka srpske nacionalnosti iz Višegrada, koji je samom radio u općini, jer sam ja radila posljednje vrijeme u urbanizmu. Bosnian Serb authorities want to demolish the house, as according to the town's planning map, before the war a road was due to be built through the place where the house stood. Jedno od 12 prvih dana je iza ove kuće od 15 do 20 policajaca upadalo. Vršili su pritiske na nas, obstrukciju rada, zabranjena je izgradnja kuće, stavili su neke trake, kao da je tamo njihov pečat da je povrijeđen. Stavili su pismeno da ne smijemo nastaviti dalji rad. Međutim, mi smo, ja sam imala snagu, zahvaljujući tim ljudima. Evo vidite i danas treći dan mi tražimo da nađemo jednu košicu. Kako se osjećaju poruce, kako bi se vi osjećali da god 20 i nešto godina tragate za svojima, da imate jedan pa košicu, da znate gdje ćete doći, gdje ćete otplakati, gdje ćete podijeliti tu svoju bol. But the mayor of Visegrad, Slavisa Miskovic, claims that the story of the proposed demolition of the Adam Omeragic house has been manipulated for political reasons, and that no Muslim has been prevented from returning to their property in Visegrad. staviti u nekakav kontekst sa izgradnjom puta. Ja niti sam radio projekat, također ovo su nasljeđene stvari iz prethodnih vlasti. I tu se javila sada žestoka medijska manipulacija. Počelo se priča da mi hoćemo da rušimo kuću. Ne, 
Mi smo samo imali nalog drugostepenog organa da se ukloni ono što je u trenutku započinjanja ekspropriacije samovoljno nagrađeno kršeći sva upozorenja i kršeći zakon. A sasvim drugačije zvuči kad neko kaže oće da ruše kuću u odnosu na onaj dio kuće koji je bespravno urađen što predstavlja nekakvu samovolju. Bilal Mamisevic je predsjednik Islamic community of Vishagrad and has also come into conflict with the mayor over the removal of the word genocide from the local Muslim memorial. Dakle, groblje nije javna površina, a ulica ili trgovi i sve ostalo su javne površine, a groblje je vlasništvo islamske zajednice, odnosno vakuvske direkcije. Sam spomenik, vezano za zakon o spomenicima i grobljima, je urađen u prethodnoj vlasti bez ikakvih dozvola i s tim u vezi je tekla i kompletna procedura. This division between Bosnian Muslims and Bosnian Serbs stretches back to when the country was carved into two autonomous entities created by the Dayton Peace Agreement at the end of the war in 1995. For years, Bosnian Serb politicians, led by President Milorad Dodik, have undermined efforts to consolidate Bosnia as a unitary state and even called for the Bosnian Serb Republic's separation from Bosnia and unification with Serbia. Paddy Ashdown, the international community's high representative in Bosnia and Herzegovina from 2002 to 2006, was highly praised for his proactive efforts to bring many Bosnian Serb war criminals to justice and strengthen the central state institutions in the country. He says the Dayton Peace Agreement, aimed at stopping the fighting between Orthodox Serbs, Catholic Croats and Muslim Bosnians, proved to be unfit for the purpose of helping Bosnia achieve economic prosperity and integration with the European Union. The problem about Dayton is that it's a barrier to build a sustainable state once the peace has been stabilised. And what you needed was the leverage of the international community to ensure that Bosnia moved beyond Dayton towards a functional state. When I went to Bosnia, I said Dayton is our floor, but it cannot be our ceiling. But then tragically, disastrously, stupidly in my view, the European Union took their foot off the brake. They decided that we didn't have to use um, any influence and leverage any longer. And uh, since Bosnia had not yet reached a stable position, it started to unravel. Um, the problem is not that that was not done. The problem is that it hasn't gone any further. In 2006, all of those advances have been allowed to unravel. And in particular, in Republika Srpska, arguably the two greatest achievements of, the inter of, of Bosnians uh, working with the international community, the creation of a single judiciary, and the second, the creation of a VAT system of taxation, which was nationwide, have now be uh, begun to unravel, because in particular, Mr. Milorad Dodik in Republika because Srpska is moving towards secession and he's unconstrained by the powers of Europe or the international community and I regret that very greatly. Over the last few months, protests have broke out in Bosnia's biggest cities over unemployment, corruption and political paralysis. As the unrest spreads to the Bosnian Serb Republic and with presidential elections later this year, many fear that the unrest may be hijacked by a Bosnian Serb nationalist agenda who refuse to acknowledge that genocide occurred. Bosnian Muslim campaigners are fighting a losing battle to have the genocide remembered and recognised in Visegrad. The wounds of the Bosnian war remain open, and unless the Bosnian Serb Republic is made to come to terms with its past, they could prove fatal to the country's future. Živjeli jedni pored drugih i jedni sa drugima i morat ćemo i dalje da živimo. Ne smijemo nikada zaboraviti, oprostiti trebamo, ali zaboraviti ono što se desilo bošnjacima nikada niti smijemo, niti bi nam bilo ko od naših nasljednika mogao oprostiti ako bismo to uradili. Trebamo da pamtimo da se nikada i nikome ne smijemo.